Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So in this video, I am going to compare uh, slightly different cars over here. So as you can see, here I have the 164 scale Tarmac Works Mercedes W11, and uh, this is the car that they ran in the 2020 season the covid season obviously and as you can see the model looks pretty good it has all the right details all around and i'm going to compare it with the burago f1 mercedes w12 so just keep that in mind that uh, livery might be a bit different in both cases so this is the w12 which they ran for the 2021 version and this is the w11 which they ran for the 2022 versions and basically as you can see it is it comes with the driver's helmet so the cost of this 1243 scale model and the 1264 scale model is actually the same so what i want to do is just get a quick comparison to see how they each have their own sort of details in them and uh, what you can expect when you purchase them so let's get started so let's start off with the packaging and as you can see both of them comes in this uh, very nice cardboard box but uh, the tarmac one doesn't come with an acrylic case and the burago one does come with one so it's basically up to your choice if you want to put it in a showcase or display it with the case so depending upon you on your need you can give one point to each or none to either of them that doesn't really matter i'm just comparing them side by side so the burago one as you can see has uh, the original mg petronas formula 19 logo there and also the tarmac one does but uh, it has the mercedes official product but uh, the amg formula one is just uh, this uh, imprinted on the board so that's pretty strange i mean they both uh, do the same job but uh, have some sort of different stickers going on them and i've said before this is the 1264 skill so your normal hot wheels version will work perfectly with it so you can place it with other 1264 scale models and this is the 1243 scale version as you can see right over here so let's just unbox them the burago one just slides out like this one and you can see we have a nice plastic acrylic case which you can basically put on a tabletop or on a shelf and that would protect the model from getting any dust inside them so that's pretty nice now if we move on to the tarmac one then it's just a simple like uh, mini gt and all the other stuff so just comes out nice and easy or not so here's the car and it comes in this nice uh, plastic uh, enclosure type thing which can be easily be removed and protect the car itself so if you take it out then you can see we have some extra goodies in the underside there and this is the like sign sort of thing that they put up when they won a race so this is from the this car the design and all the aerodynamics upgrades that you see are taken from the austrian grand prix in which uh, valtteri bottas won obviously and he gets this uh, number one place to take with him so that's pretty nice to see i mean if you are making a diorama then this is a must have for you it is not really easy to find and uh, making this would be a very tough challenge so very nice to see and obviously this does not come with the driver's helmet so you have to live with that i mean it is okay so because i mean look at the size of the cockpit and can you imagine how small the driver's helmet would be so nonetheless pretty good and the driver's helmet actually comes in the burago model so let me just quickly unbox it and here you can see here is the driver's helmet still quite not sure how they are able to manage this much detail in such a small space but uh, still it quite amazes me as you can see so let me just quickly unscrew it from its base and it is actually a quite a nice base with the company logo and the name of the car so pretty nice to have as well and it is only held by one screw so you can easily remove and place it back on if you like so now that you can see both are out now we can take a closer look at both of them so if we start with the front wing as you can see in the tarmac one the nose cone is quite not really in the center there the printing is sort of skewed to the left side as you can probably see and this is just basically just a quality control issue i think they have fixed it now but uh, i am not sure also here as you can see with the left rear wheel it is not quite clearly printed so these are like slight quality issues that i am currently facing with tarmac works formula one cars but uh, nonetheless they are pretty good as well and if you take a look at the front wing of the burago one then you can see it is absolutely spot on but we are missing quite a few details as you can see with with the inos logo which is on the inside of the front wing which is missing on the burago but if you look at the tarmac one which is smaller as you can see the logo is there on both the 
edges so if uh, this error wasn't there then i would have given the point to the tarmac one but uh, this i mean really annoys me if i really look closely to it then uh, if we move further on to the suspension i mean it's quite clear how, who is the winner it is the tarmac one but uh, i'm not sure how they were able to fit this much detail in such a small car it is quite astonishing to me and also if you look at the antenna there it is quite clearly visible and the antenna on the burago one is absolutely not there for whatever reason i don't know the iwc logo if you look closely you can see we have another sponsor underneath the iwc logo but uh, for the burago one it is missing so as you can see burago has quite a few flaws compared to the tarmac one but uh, for me both model looks pretty good now moving on this this is the main thing about the burago model which they have not done is actually marking the inside of the front wheels so if you watch the races from the onboard uh, this cam t cam over here then you may be able to see the tire compound which is either soft uh, hard or medium according to the color it is uh, currently medium which is the yellow tire so they are also printed red yellow or white on the inside as well which was missing on the burago versions till the 21 season but for the 22 season which uh, the cars are lined up all over there they had this issue fixed so now we also get the markings inside the tire which add obviously adds a lot more detail to the car but for the tarmac one as you can see right off the bat they have uh, paid attention to the detail and and printed the inside of the vehicle as well so obviously this point goes to tarmac works as well now moving on to the barge board area or the sideboard area then you can see that uh, both of them are quite uh, accurately detailed but uh, i have to give the point to the burago over here because of the size they were able to add a lot more detail than the tarmac one does so there are some places where the burago one excels and uh, the amg logo as, as you can see it is quite not clearly visible but for the burago one it is quite big i mean so it is quite nicely visible now if you move on to the halo then you can see that uh, the halo does have a similar finish to the car body itself and what i mean by is that if you look at the burago one then you can see the whole car has a metallic finish but the halo does not have that it is slightly matte in finish don't know for whatever reason maybe because uh, this is plastic and this is metal so that may be one of the reasons that's why so i mean that's just the way how physics works so not going to complain there now if you move on to the cockpit then you can see obviously the driver's helmet is missing on the tarmac one uh, but uh, i think they compensated it quickly with the this thing over here which i still don't know the name of so moving on to another detail which is the t cam so in every team they for some reason paint the t cam yellow for their second driver so at the time valtteri bottas teammate was lewis hamilton obviously so lewis hamilton was mercedes first driver and valtteri bottas was second so they painted their t cam yellow and obviously you can see the the detail is quite clearly visible on the tarmac one but uh, for burago as you know they are not very fond of the yellow paint so they have messed it up quite a few times in the past so not so i mean i didn't expect this to be correct as well and just left it there now if you look at the body of the car then you can see that there is a little slit cut out over here on both the side so what happens is basically this piece over here is a separate piece which is made out of plastic and then the rest of the body is made out of metal so the whole body is not made out of metal only this portion here that you see with the INS logo and the AMG and the number 77 is actually plastic and if you look at the tarmac one then it is as a whole a resin model which is I mean I have never held a resin model but it is quite heavy so and obviously the burago one is heavier as well but so now moving on to the print quality obviously the livery change is prominent but uh, if you look at the livery on the tarmac one then you can see the one of the amg logo is slightly painted red over here right next to the 77 logo on the right if you are able to see that is for nickel order i mean it is a great detail that they were managed to add in this car i mean uh, I think it is missing on this one I mean but uh, yet again this is a different car different delivery so can't really compare both of them now moving on to the rear wing as you can see i think the quality on both of them is quite spot on and again the back wing of the tarmac work looks more detailed than the burago one in terms of uh, the sponsoring but uh, in terms of the aero stuff i think the tarmac one could have done a lot better and here actually you can see we have more details in the burago one rather than in the tarmac one so all in all a pretty nice car i mean if you look at the underneath then it is all the same with the company logo scale and whatever the car name so there it is guys a uh, very unfair and uh, detailed comparison between the tarmac one 1 to 64 scale wlr and the 
Bravo 1 to 43 scale W12. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, if you want me to compare more of these 43 and 64 models just let me know. I have a lot of models lined up for that and uh, I will be posting some comparison video on Hot Wheels as well with mini GTs. So stay tuned for those videos as well and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment down below and I will see you all in the next one.